FTR going to throw it here. What's going on guys and welcome back for another Madden 23 Buccaneers franchise gameplay. For those of you guys that are new to the channel, man, go ahead and do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button. I post a lot of franchise gameplays here on the channel. I would hate for you guys to miss out on a single episode. But for those of you who have been following the channel for a while now, we are now in week number seven. And our Buccaneers are getting ready to take on the Atlanta Falcons, man. We had a great win uh, last week up against the Detroit Lions of week number six. Um, my guy, Dorian Thompson Robinson, easily the star of the show, man. That is his greatest performance so far this season, really. I mean, um, but he had ended with three touchdown passes, two interceptions. We have an upgrade for him also. So right now, life is looking up for Dorian Thompson Robinson. Um, we're going to go with the scrambler ability maybe to get something for his throw on the run if all possible and i mean some more awareness some more throw accuracy that's always great things to see there check out his stats though the 90 throw power the 81 deep accuracy 78 deep ac uh, medium accuracy um anyways our opponent in today's game is going to be the philadelphia uh, not philadelphia Eagles, the atlanta falcons um they are having a bit of a rough go at it i don't know too much about this user what's going on but i mean he's at the bottom of our, of our division but again he is in our division so i mean can't really sleep on anybody in this division because we're gonna see them twice a year so i mean we're not going to take them lightly at all to say the least we are going to do a little bit of scouting though to see what we're going to be up against all right so okay my guy made a trade with the cardinals he ends up he has kyler murray as his starting quarterback 13 touchdowns and 7 interceptions. That's not bad at all, man. That's actually really good. He's also got my guy, Taylor Heineke, as a backup quarterback. I doubt we'll see him in the game. Um, looking at the running back situation, B. John Robinson, the day one starter rookie running back. Well, I'm pretty sure a superstar dev. I mean, he is hidden. Thank God he's not open just yet, but you know when we see the Falcons for round number two, this guy's going to be flashing with his star abilities out there, or super, his superstar abilities out there. Uh, looking at the receiving core that they have, Mac Hollins is the leading catch getter for them. Is he also the leading yards? Yes, he is. B. John Robinson out of the backfield, Kyle Pitts as well. I believe he still has his X Factor abilities, and he does double me. But he's only got two superstar abilities. So, red zone threat, we definitely know we're going to have to look at Kyle Pitts. And he has mid and elite point on as well. Let's see what Matt Collins is working with. He's six foot four. I love these big receivers, but he doesn't have any abilities and he is decently fast. So we're probably going to try to see if we can get away with matching up with the Falcons by overall um, with our cornerbacks. Shouldn't really need to worry about too much speed burning. So we might even press him from now on time to time. Uh, look at the sack leader for him, Grady Jarrett with the five and a half sacks, followed by Lorenzo Carter. I had him in my franchise last year. Lorenzo Carter's a freaking dog, man. If you all remember the, that Falcons franchise I ran last year on Madden 23, you know Lorenzo Carter got after it, as well as AJ Terrell, and he doesn't have his abilities anymore. Yes, he does. I was about to say for a second there, like, why did they take AJ Terrell's abilities off of him? So, whoever he's going to be matched up on, we're going to have to probably not throw his way because that inch size shade ability scares the crap out of me, to tell you all the truth. So, um, my guess is he's going to have him matched up with. Um, Mike Evans, so that just means that guys like uh, Russell Gage and Trey Palmer are just going to have to get loose and have big games. All right, pretty good team that the Falcons have here, but we know our Buccaneers got a better one, so let's go ahead and see if we can get onto the field and help the Falcons improve to 1-6. and six. A bit warm here in Florida. It's time for another NFC South showdown as the Atlanta Falcons have made their way down to Tampa Bay to take on the Buccaneers. The Falcons have had a rough start to their season and are looking to rebound after a 1-5 start. The Buccaneers, however, have been rolling and want to keep the momentum going, and we will be starting things off on defense up against the Falcons. First down and 10 from the 14-yard line. Kyler Murray back in the empty formation. Drops back to throw his first pass of the day. Scanning the field. Doesn't see anything. Drops all the way back into his end zone and finally makes a smart decision and throws that ball away. Had a man closing in on him. Did not want to take the sack in the opening drive. Second down and 10 from the 14-yard line. Murray back to throw again. His second pass of the day is going to be intercepted by Carlton Davis. 
Carlton Davis is on the return inside the 20. He's going to be brought down at the nine yard line. Great starting field position here for Dorian Thompson Robinson and the Buccaneers offense. First down and 10 from their own nine yard line. Jet sweep here to Russell Gage tries to turn the corner. Not much there for him. Only able to turn that into a gain of two yards on the play. Now second down from the seven yard line. Handoff goes to the running back Chase Edmonds. Edmonds running into the pile trying to push the pile forward but he's going to be stopped after a gain of two yards as well at the five yard line. Third down and goal. Quick throw in the flats is going to be complete to the rookie receiver Trey Palmer. Has the reception looking for the pile line but he's going to be knocked down out of bounds at the one yard line. Fourth down and goal. The offense stays on the field and Dorian Thompson Robinson punches that one into the end zone himself on the design QB sneak and the Buccaneers offense is able to turn the early Falcons turnover into six make that seven points as the extra point field goal is going to be up and good that series that situation was nothing but four down territory in my mind as soon as I got down to that one yard line I already knew I was going to be going for that there was no chance in hell that I was going to be kicking a field goal on the one when I started that drive out on the nine yard line here comes Kyler Murray back on the field after throwing the early interception that pass is going to be complete for a gain of four yards out of bounds at the 23 yard line second down and six he ends up finding Bijan Robinson in the flats quickly has the first down he's brought down at the 31 yard line Kyler Murray looking to rebound after the early turnover thrown and he ends up hitting another different receiver this time ends up targeting Drake London makes the reception but only for a gain of two yards on the play second down to eight another quick firing throw here is going to be complete to Bijan Robinson Robinson bruising ankles fighting for extra yards as he gets across the midfield mark and is going to be brought down at the 45 yard line or 48 yard line I mean first down and 10 here for the Atlanta Falcons handoff goes to Bijan Robinson but runs right into the waiting arms of Vita Vea stops him behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of a yard on the play second and 11 here comes Kyle Pitts getting involved in the passing game swerving his way through the secondary of the Buccaneers and is finally forced out of bounds at the 31 yard line and this drive is looking like it's got some problems here as Bijan Robinson's loose. He's inside the 10, the 5. Touchdown for the Atlanta Falcons. Bijan Robinson into the end zone for a Falcons touchdown to tie this game up after the extra point field goal by Kuz going to be up and good. Kyler Murray was able to come back with a great drive there after throwing the early turnover that led to points for the Buccaneers. Here from his own end zone is going to be Trey Palmer. Palmer fumbles the ball. It's going to be recovered inside of Buccaneers territory by the Falcons. And Kyler Murray is going to start with possession of the ball from his own 15-yard line. Drops back to throw, taking a shot to the end zone for Drake London. And did he get his feet down? Y yes, he did. The referees call it a touchdown. Drake London ends up getting the toe drag swag in the corner of the end zone and just like that the falcons now have the lead trey palmer no more returns man we're done like you're done i don't understand how that happened i mean just just you're done no more kickoff returns for trey palmer for a while dorian thompson robinson back out on the field here now trying to test for the early turnover that now has us down not a turnover by him but by his rookie receiver trey palmer it's now first down and 10 from the 39 yard line handoff goes to sean tucker his first of the day and tucker is only able to get his way back to the line of scrimmage nothing for him there on the ground uh, second down and 10 handoff to tucker able to find a lot more running room this time gets a gain of 13 yards all the way up to the 45 yard line keeping this drive going for the tampa bay buccaneers right back to the ground attack here with sean tucker why not it's been working so far as long as we're not running to that right side as they stop Sean Tucker again for only a gain of a yard. Second down and nine. Dorian Thompson Robinson keeps this on himself. Gets a nice block there from Sean Tucker and he's loose into the end zone from 47 yards out. Is the quarterback Dorian Thompson Robinson on the design read option. Kept it himself. Put in work and put that ball into the end zone to help tie this game back up at 14 apiece. Really, we should have been taking the, drive, taking the lead. Well, if it wasn't for Trey Palmer and his fumble, that should have been our drive coming back. But, you know, it is what it is. Just got to play the hand that you're dealt. But we're going to try to see if we can force a fumble. But the Falcons just go down at the 11-yard line. First down for Murray looking to throw. Goes underneath complete to Bijan Robinson. And we saw this in the scouting report for the Atlanta Falcons. They favored Bijan Robinson a lot. 
in the ground attack, in the passing game. So if we're going to want to win this game, we're going to have to try to find a way to slow down his produ or productivity. This is a good chance right now. Third down and inches from the 20-yard line, a chance for our defense to get off the field. Murray drops back to throw and ends up finding Kyle Pitts there wide open on the drag route. Steps out of bounds or hurdles out of bounds at the 35-yard line. First down, handoff goes to Bijan Robinson. Bounces off the tackle of Devin White looking for the 40-yard line. It's going to be stopped at the 39-yard line. Gain of three yards on the play. Now second down to seven, seven, uh, seven. Murray under pressure able to get that ball away to Kyle Pitts who ends up breaking the ankles of Jamel Dean and then tells D Delaney to eat some dirt as he goes out of bounds at the 39 yard line another first down for the Falcons another carry here to Bijan Robinson but this time we do a great job of corralling him stopping him for just a gain of a yard on the play second down to nine with the man in motion is going to be Kyler Murray who ends up tossing this jet sweep off to Drake London Drake London turns in the corner and he's going to be stopped at the 32 yard line another third down chance to get off the field and Bijan Robinson comes through in the clutch yet again for this Falcons offense has the first down down to the red zone at the 20 yard line first down and 10 right back to Robinson looking for the edge breaking ankles Robinson looking for the goal line but he's going to be stopped and pushed out of bounds at the five yard line shotgun formation here from the five yard line you gotta think this is going to Bijan Robinson and it is and he's going to be stopped at the two yard line great open field tackle there by Levante David second down and goal from the two yard line can this Buccaneers defense keep them out of the end zone handoff goes to Algier he heads in the wrong direction ends up losing three yards back to the five yard line now third down and goal here for the Falcons handoff goes to Robinson looking for the end zone and Bijan Robinson has no problems at all punching this one into the end zone for the Atlanta Falcons and taking the lead right back did I say that Bijan Robinson is a problem? And oh man, Young Way Koo is a problem also. How did you miss that kick? Uh, questions, questions are there, man. You have a, a focus kicker, I'm assuming. How do you miss an extra point field goal with a fo focus kicker? I don't know. But yeah, we have questions on our defense on how to slow down freaking Brian Rob or Bijan Robinson because dude is a freaking problem right now. He is literally just killing us. Any way you can think, in the passing game, in the rushing attack, he's just killing us. But right now we have a chance to take the lead here with our Buccaneers. All we got to do is just punch this one into the end zone and not miss our field goal. It's second down and one for DTR. Ends up going underneath to his running back, Sean Tucker. Probably does not have anywhere near the similar stats to what Bijan Robinson has, but he's just as effective in the passing game. First down and 10 from the 27-yard line with 29 seconds left. Thompson Robinson back to throw, going underneath for Chase Edmonds, and that pass is going to be complete, but he's tackled in bounds, and we don't decide to call the timeout. We go hurry up offense here with under 10, 8, 7, 6 seconds left, and the snap is away. Thompson Robinson throwing, and oh, that was a dangerous throw that could have been intercepted. And with three seconds left, we're going to be forced to call on our kicker to salvage this drive and put points up on the board, and he does just that. So, I mean, we can't really be all mad about the situation there because we did leave with three, but I hate going into the halftime break with two timeouts still left on my hip, man. Like, really, ideally, after Chase Edmonds caught that pass, we should have went ahead and called it for uh, that second timeout regardless and just been working with that final timeout, but we just... Poor clock management there. That's, that's just all I got to say to that. Poor clock management. And we're just going to look to try to bounce back here in the second half as we start this drive off with the ball. And now even better field position after the catch and run there by Palmer goes to the opposite 45-yard line. Thompson Robinson back to throw. Looking to go for White underneath. That ball is going to be intercepted by Troy Anderson. Anderson's off on the return. He's going to be tackled there by White at the 36-yard line. And, oh, man, that is not the way you want to start off that drive. I honestly hit the wrong button there. I I literally saw that he was covering my running back. My running back was my first read. Saw that he was covered there. I was like, all right, now I'm going to hit Russell Gage. But for whatever reason, my brain and my thumbs or my fingers just were not communicating right. And I literally clicked the wrong button. I really wanted to hit Russell Gage across the middle of the field because he was wide the hell open. Now here comes Kyler Murray in this Falcons unit. And uh-oh, drop possession there on third down. Leads to a fourth down of five. Here comes Koo. Is he going to miss this field goal too? No. Young Way Koo is going to be good. 
really just gets that field goal back for the Falcons that we ended up getting going into halftime. And yeah, you're still sitting in the end zone, Palmer. Uh, you can have an attitude if you want to. Forget that. You're not bringing it out of the end zone. Dangerous throw there on first down. Ends up losing five yards. I don't know what happened there, man. Like, literally, my controller just glitched. I tried to hit that pass way sooner than I ended up throwing it. And, yeah, this drive is not starting off too good. It's now third down of 14. We got behind the sticks early, and things have not looked any better after that. DTR back to throw, looking for Cade Otten. And, luckily, that pass was not intercepted. And we're going to be forced to punt this ball back to the Falcons. So, this second half so far is not starting out in an ideal situation at all. But it is going to be a nice little punt here. Going to pin them back at their own 11-yard line. Can our defense make a play and get the ball back or even put it, uh, put it into the end zone? But first, we got to find a way to slow down Bijan Robinson. And a great start right there as we stop him, knocking him back to the 10-yard line, losing a yard on the play. Second down 11. Murray in trouble. Hit as he released that ball. It's going to fall incomplete. Third down and 11 now from the 10-yard line. Another chance to get off the field. Our defense is in a great situation. But the Falcons set up the screen here to Bijan Robinson. He has blockers out in front of him. Bijan Robinson looking for the first down. He's going to be stopped at the 20-yard line. Fourth down and one. The Falcons elect to keep the offense on the field. Kyler Murray drops back to throw, going deep down the field, and he's able to connect with Drake Lennon. A huge gain on fourth down and one, all the way down to the opposite 46-yard line. Bijan Robinson gets his number called here on first down. He's inside the 30, the 20, all the way down, almost to the 10, brought down at the 12-yard line, and this Falcons unit is in scoring range. First down, Murray ends up finding Bijan Robinson in the flats, and he does the rest of the work as he's been doing this entire game. Bijan Robinson into the end zone helping the Falcons increase their lead to 12, make that 13 after the extra point field goal there by Koo is going to be up and good. Yeah, so we have quite the hole to dig ourselves out of, and Palmer is going to return this one out of his own end zone. Coach has let him out the doghouse, and he almost got uh, got through that little seam there to take that one all the way back into the end zone for six. First down and ten here for Thompson Robinson. Ends up finding Russell Gage underneath. That's who we went to hit before when he threw that interception. Ends up hitting him now here for a first down to the 41-yard line. Handoff goes to Chase Edmonds, able to find some running room as he gets across the midfield. Mark brought down at the 47-yard line. Hurry up off here for the Buccaneers offense as we're approaching the end of the third quarter. Thompson Robinson back in the shotgun formation. He's back in a clean pocket. Decides to take off with this one himself and he ends up diving forward. Has the first down. No. They are going to mark, mark him down just inches shy of the first down. Oh, come on. Second down and inches. Thompson Robinson back to throw. Scanning the field. Going deep for Mike Evans and overthrows him. That ball's going to shoot out the back of the end zone and the third quarter is going to end with the Buccaneers scoring no points, finding themselves facing a 13-point deficit as we head into the fourth quarter. Thompson Robinson is going to keep this one himself on third down and inches. He's going to get stopped behind the line of scrimmage, losing yards. Back to the 40-yard line, fourth down and three, keeping the offense on the field, finding a wide open Mike Evans in the middle of the field. Whew. We try to get fancy there with that little journal there with Mike Evans, and luckily he's able to hold on to the ball. And Thompson Robinson not making the best decisions here, as Mike Evans didn't make the best decisions in making that journal, but he ended up getting away with it. Second down and 10, Thompson Robinson throwing, ends up finding Kate Otten wide open in the middle of the field, and Otten lowers his shoulders and punches one into the end zone for a Buccaneers touchdown, cutting the lead down to six after the extra point field goal is going to be up and good. All right, this is part of the comeback story right here, man. The offense did their job, punched this one into the end zone. Now we just need a defense to stop. We had to find a way or figure out a way to stop the man that has clearly been unstoppable this entire game. And you know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about the guy who just made another reception, B. John Robinson, as he has the first down, goes out of bounds at the 32-yard line. First down and 10 yet again for the Atlanta Falcons. Murray under center. He's going to hand this ball off to Bijan Robinson, who gets the edge. Jamel Dean can't bring him down, but it ends up causing him to trip out of bounds. Just a yard shy of the first down marker at the 41-yard line. Right back to Bijan Robinson. Ends up shoving Buccaneers defenders down to the ground like it's nothing. Has the first down and well over 100 yards on the ground for him in today's game. And if you want to add injury to insult, as he makes another reception there, just think he's got over 100 yards on the ground. 
he's probably got damn near another 100 yards through the air or almost 100 yards. It's first down and 10. Murray looking to throw, going deep downfield for Scotty Miller. And Miller makes an amazing catch there. Drags the toes out of bounds at the 14-yard line. Handoff goes to Bijan Robinson. Huge hole opens up straight up the middle. And Bijan Robinson just basically hit his head on the freaking goalpost there, man. That, li that lane that opened up for him was just ridiculous. It was a freaking highway to the end zone. And the lead is right back up to 13 points here for the Atlanta Falcons. Can our Buccaneers offense do it again and just put our defense in another situation just to get us a stop, hopefully. Get us a turnover, possibly, would be huge. First down and 10, check down in the flats to Sean Tucker is going to be complete for a gain of four yards. But check downs are just going to take a little bit too long for us to get things going here, man. We need big plays, and we need them now. Try to take a shot there for Mike Evans, but DTR took a shot as he tried to release that ball. It's now third down and six. Handoff goes to Sean Tucker. Probably not the best play call there as he's only able to get back to the line of scrimmage. It's now fourth down and six. Do or die situation here. Thompson Robinson throwing. Ends up connecting with Russell Gage who's forced out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Great play there, but the two-minute warning is slowly but surely approaching. In a perfect situation, we would be punching this one into the end zone within that 28 seconds. But this Falcons unit is not making it easy as that pass is going to be swatted away incomplete. Second down and 10. Thompson Robinson keeps it himself on the read option. Able to turn the quarter but unfortunately steps out of bounds with only a gain of three yards it's now third down and seven man in motion is going to be palmer the quick throw is going to be intercepted by jesse bates bates has the interception of thompson robinson and oh that's going to make the comeback efforts pretty much null and void at that point first down and 10 handoff goes to b Sean robinson who again just these buccaneers just Bounce off of him like nothing, man. And this guy isn't even activated yet. He doesn't even have his abilities yet. Imagine him with freaking abilities, man. That's just ridiculous. I mean, literally just ridiculous. First down and 10 now from the 35-yard line. Handoff to Tyler Algier. And he's able to take this one down to the 32-yard line. And the two-minute warning hits right now. First or second down and six, handoff to Bijan Robinson. He's going to be stopped at the line of scrimmage by Levante David. There goes the second timeout here for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Only with one remaining, Murray back to throw, scanning the field. Murray in trouble. He's going to go down. Huge sack there, losing 10 yards all the way back to the 42 yard line. And the Falcons are going to punt this ball back to the Buccaneers. But this is going to be a, a very difficult comeback situation is not that it's, it's done and over with because if we're able, able to punch this one into the end zone and get a two-point conversion this game is ours we're right back in this huge catch there by mike evans and double coverage back shoulder all the way down to the 33 yard line these are the big plays that i'm talking about that we needed first down and 10 for thompson robinson from the shotgun formation looking to throw underneath to kate otten is going to be complete otten swerving his way through the falcons defense trying to see if he can get to the out of bound uh, line but he's going to be tackled to inbounds at the 18 yard line hurry up offense get again here for the tampa bay buccaneers thompson robinson shotgun formation looking to throw across the middle of the field and a triple coverage he got away with one there he wanted his rookie receiver palmer but that was definitely not the best read there second out of 10 thompson robinson ends up finding russell gage makes the completion but does not get out of bounds hurry up offense yet again under 30 seconds left here in the fourth quarter it's a third down and two we got to take a shot to the end zone right here thompson robinson rolls out the pocket to his left looking for something he doesn't release that ball and it's going to fall incomplete Brings up fourth down and two games on the line right here. Blitz is on. Robinson's going to go down. Just could not get rid of that ball. He gets sacked on fourth down. And that's going to end the game for us there. As Kyler Murray comes out onto the field in the victory formation, he's going to take the knee for the Falcons. And the Atlanta Falcons, a 1-5 team, ended up taking down the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Not much to say else, man. Just leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe for more Buccaneers franchise gameplays. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.